big effing nerds. Welcome back, fellow nerdians. I am Michael Lee of the Abyss. And I am Matt the Truth Sayer. And this is Big F and Nerds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 No. <laughs> Just start breaking shit. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my parents would kill me. Get this fucking show on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have no computer, no no podcast that we broke everything. Woo! <laughs> Success. <laughs> This is what success looks like. <laughs> absolutely, de- absolutely destroyed our home set and just fucking. Oh God! <laughs> fucking madness. <laughs> oh, the imagination's on us. It's always been like that, though, for us. Yeah, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. All right, I got it. This is a good one. You ready for this one? Oh yeah. All right. In Arizona, it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. Why? I Why? actually have an answer for that. The, oh, wait. There's an actual answer? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I was, was going to say, think. I was like, remember last time I said, what the fuck had to happen? Yeah. No. So I got it. So it said, in 1920s, a local dam broke, flooding a rancher's home. The, ran- uh, the rancher's donkey had become accustomed to sleeping in the bathtub, which filled with water, and then whisked him miles away. After working to rescue him, they, they, then, they, they then passed a law that said, yeah, n- no more of that. <laughs> what the hell? That is... <laughs> That is hella off the wall. What the hell? I can't even wrap my head around that at all. I mean, like, what kind of, like, what kind of dickhead? <laughs> it was like, looked at the donkey. He was like, "Yeah, you come." <laughs> some, of the, some of these rules and some of these laws are just absolutely outrageous. I, I got a couple more saved. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I can't wait for the future. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be something, all right. But all right, yeah, guys. That, Episode number eight. Woo! Yeah, almost on double digits. Eight weeks. That means two two months, right? A little over two months because we because we did skip a week. Yeah. Remember that one time? Mm. I think for the fourth episode when we were going to do a recording. Oh, no, so, yeah. yeah, eight weeks, two months. Hopefully, many more to come. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Yep. But uh, we got some stuff to talk about. Oh yeah. Because lots stuff. We not only weren't able to talk about Moonlight Moon Knight the Last week, but so now we get to watch, uh, talk about two episodes. Yeah, because we had the, the episode five yesterday. Yes. Yeah. It was and good. And dude, it was wild. Wild little ride. Very good. Very oh, yeah. emotional. Yeah. And very, um, how should I say this? Aggressive? Aggressive. Yeah. Like the mom. Oh, uh, yeah. That's one word for it. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's a it's quite a wild, uh, quite a wild fucking episode. It, yeah. uh, both of them were, yeah, just very you know certain things that happened <laughs> that was both funny and not so uh, and pretty fucking depressing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, Jesus. So it is a very <laughs> yeah no the <clears throat> I liked them though. It's oh, yeah. actually it's actually starting to come together as a story very well. I think. I, yeah, I agree. The story is very interesting. I, I, you know, I, I brought up to you today, earlier. I was like, you know, I'm just realizing like we're not getting a lot of like Moon Knight just out, you know, kicking ass being Moon Knight. Mm-hmm. But like, I only really noticed that as I was watching the the, the latest episode, because I was so like, oh fuck, what's gonna happen? But then I realized like, oh, you know what? And, like after it was done, I was like, I guess we haven't seen a lot of like Moon Knight kicking ass, yeah, just here and there. But it didn't really realize it. It's a good fucking story. Yeah. Yeah. No. The, um. <clears throat> definitely surprised but pleasantly surprised because you know when this when they i heard of them coming out with moon knight i was like all right um moon knight's not i mean he's popular but he's not as popular as you know what we currently know Batman. No, no. <laughs> wrong universe Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> no wrong universe <laughs> the, the the marvel the marvel equivalent yeah, he was like the, he was like their answer to Batman. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. So, but yeah, I was just curious on how they were going to go about going with the story because no one really knows of Moon Knight. I barely knew of Moon Knight. Yeah, I mean, all I knew was all right, Egyptian, and he's got a split personality, and he's like a mercenary. Hmm. I didn't know about all that. I mean, I don't know how much in the show they're um, making up on the spot, I guess, or you know, on their own. Oh yeah, I don't know how much of that is going on. 
But, uh, I mean, they covered all the bases that I knew of, so. <laughs> definitely, definitely a, a fun thing. Also, one, another fun thing was, you know, towards the end, we got a little surprise uh, of episode four. There was a little surprise oh, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty hilarious surprise. I think a lot of people enjoyed that one um, yeah. just because of the fact it's just hello, like, what the fuck? Just All out right. there after, like, we're going through some, like, serious. Excuse me. Geez, I came out of nowhere. We're going through some, like, serious shit. And then all of a sudden. Just, ah! <laughs> but um, it was funny because I was like, I just did the butt um thing. And I keep, <laughs> keep saying, like, we need to fucking stop that because whenever I edit on the thingy. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away for a second. Hey, dude, that was having fun with that one. He's all perfect, man. Dancing like a fucking Disney character. Yeah, you could. If you're if you're about three feet shorter, you could be a fucking dwarf. Fucking the eighth dwarf could be an oompa loompa. Oompa loompa doompa doo. Do justice for Justice Deep. All right, justice for Johnny Depp. Justice for Johnny Depp. Justice Deep. My boy. That's what I was gonna say. So, uh, I I asked you last week if you wanted to see Morbius. You said you didn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, fair enough. But I'm gonna go see. It. Yeah. And um, yeah, I told you a little bit about it already. <clears throat> a little bit about it already. But um, other than it's, you know, it's very meh. <laughs> very meh. Very meh. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go see it. Yeah, it's pretty whelming. Whelming? Not overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it's um, I, I I really felt like they were they were like most like every, I don't know, every fight scene, half the movie was like, look at all these slow mo shots. <laughs> I was like, okay. Sounds like a Suicide Squad. Yeah. Towards the end, remember the end of Suicide Squad? And it was just like five minutes just of just pure slow, slow motion. Mo and you're just mo. like, please, please, <laughs> go faster. Take me out of this slow world. My reality, <laughs> like, can you imagine? That's probably how the Flash feels. Yeah, every, everybody slows fuck. Everyone slows fuck. Oh, Listen, listening God. to people. Hey, Flash, <laughs> you know. Speak faster. He's like, oh my God, hurry up. Oh my God, please speak faster. <laughs> Um, so pretty meh. Yeah, the story was pretty. I guess you could say uninspired. Mm. Pretty. Uh, kinda, I feel kinda, like that sucks because Jared little, Leto. Yeah. You know, he's not really. He's he was in the Suicide Squad too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I said that I was like I feel bad for Jared Leto man. Like every superhero he goes to or you know comic book character he goes to touch everybody hates it. <laughs> like God, give the guy a break. <laughs> But is it like, is it him though, or is it the you know, the directors? You know, because the directors are supposed to be working with the actors in order to bring these characters to life. And I've so. only seen him in a few things. I mean, I think he's pretty pretty decent as an actor. I mean, um, did you watch Blade Runner twenty forty nine? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he I, played the uh, the. I forgot his name. The bad the, guy. The main, you know, corporate corporate dude. The bad guy. Yeah, but yeah, he um he was good in that. Hmm. I think. I mean. Hmm. Yeah, he was pretty decent. It, it it wasn't like, you know, obviously a less performance, but he's right. in that one specifically. His yeah, yeah. I mean, he I played the part he was supposed to. Like I, you know, I was like, he's a super like fucked up, guy. super wealthy fucking... Corp, corporate guy who created these uh, the uh, fucking replicants. Jesus, I almost I was blanking on him. <laughs> created the replicants and shit. Uh, the synthetics. No, that's Fallout. <laughs> synthetics. You synth. No, that's aliens. No, aliens has sense too. Oh well, yeah, but um. That's why I said. Why aren't those fuckers called a uh, sense? Handy Joe or something. I can't remember. What they're You're called. a Handy Joe. <laughs> yeah, what'd you call me? You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There's there's some other big spoilery shit that I won't get into right now, but mm. uh, the villain. I saw the villain coming a fucking mile away. Oh, but yeah. you had to have been watching the movie in order to tell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, like there, I'm, there I'm wasn't like, really any. Uh, they don't. I haven't seen who it was in any of the trailers or anything. Yeah, that so, I'm aware of. But I didn't watch too many. But if you were watching the movie, you'd be like, "Oh, it's." Oh that. yeah, I, I saw him and I was like, "Oh, I bet that's the bad guy." And then it happened. I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I thought." <laughs> yeah, t typical bad guy behavior. Yeah. Right. But you hear about those those things about like there's only 38 possible stories that you can tell. What do you mean? Like, there's out of 
story writing and anything like that, there's only really 38 possible stories that you can tell. So every movie has essentially copied the story hmm. from, and it comes, you could go trace it back all the way to mythology and. Well, yeah, it goes back to like the hero's journey and kind of all that shit. Yeah. That, yeah. Literally. Yeah. No, I, I get that. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, you start to see patterns like that in a lot of shit. You're like, all right, now, now, like now comes the time in the movie where like, especially if it's like, say like a rom-com, you're like, all right, they're going to get together. It's going to be great. Maybe she won't be interested at first. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then they'll get together. It's great. Something's going to happen. They're going to break up. They're both going to be really sad. What's hella funny is I'm <laughs> writing a rom-com. That's literally how it's going. <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> they got to have it, and then they got to have it taken away from them. And I don't even know movies, and I know that shit. <laughs> but no, uh, it's real. Yeah. The, the, the wonders of storytelling. It's not really all that dynamic. It's dynamic, but it's not that dynamic. Only dynamic is... I don't know. I didn't have anything to say right there. I just started saying that. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> All right, sound, folks. Trying to sound sophisticated, and I just yeah. shat my pants. <laughs> Go change your diaper, Matt. I can smell it from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it was one time, guys. It was back in fourth grade. <laughs> Nobody would be talking about it if you didn't keep bringing it up. <laughs> but uh, so. From here on out, just letting you guys know, and I'm and by you guys I mean not the one guy that's sitting right next to me. I'm <laughs> not, talking not about, are <laughs> talking about our fellow nerdians, our loyal nerdian listeners. You guys, this is spoiler. Excuse me. This is spoiler warning. It's gonna be spoiler heavy from right here moving forward. Yeah. So if you don't want any spoilers. Yeah. I suggest you just get we'll, we'll get the uh, the timestamp. He'll he'll my yeah. boy here'll let you know. I'll smack that. I'll smack that in there. Yeah. I'll let y'all know. All right. So you've been warned. Okay. Here we so, go. <laughs> uh nothing super crazy happens. Until, like, kind of like the post-credits, of course, towards the end, you know. Um, or Moon Knight. <clears throat> or are you talking about Oh, Morbius? I was like, wait, fuck, we're talking about Moon Knight? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was talking about, about Morbius real quick, because I got no, some that's fine. shit. And you want to know. I haven't told you yet. That, yeah. um, all right. So, they tied it in. I knew it. <laughs> that fuck? I so, goddamn knew it. Give me that. Give me your $10. <laughs> we didn't even bet on money. the movie. Yes, we did. <laughs> we did in my head. We did it last <laughs> week. You owe me a hundred dollars <laughs> and a sloppy blowy. <laughs> oh goodness, and a Chick Fil A. Oh, spicy deluxe. Yes, sir. Yeah, but of course. All right. Um, so they t- they tied it. Yeah, they were pretty loosely in t- at the end of Spider Man No Way Home. Mm-hmm. At the very like, I, that's, there's like two little mid and after credits. Well, not really after the credits, like right in the beginning, but. It happens. You see the big purple like tear in the sky. From oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh okay, cool. They they referenced Venom like two times. Really? Because Venom wasn't didn't exist in that universe. Yeah, well, he referenced them before they did the Spider Man No Way Home thing. Like throughout the movie, like the two cops who are like kind of checking up on Michael Morbius, you know, like the two detectives. Mm. Well, they one guy said something like when they came to one of the scenes, he was like, oh, you know, we haven't seen something like this since that. Since that one time in San Francisco, you know, shit like that. Interesting. Um, that is very interesting yeah. because it's... Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then we saw it in the trailer, but it still cracks me up when people were like... When he's like goes into the drug den and then the people are... Not not that part of the trailer. No, no, no. Sorry. I, I was thinking, what a, was Venom, like Tom Hardy's Venom, a part of Andrew Garfield's universe and we didn't know? Because is that the universe that he started in? Morbius? Yeah, is it Andrew Garfield? That's why I'm saying he, there was no be- mention of Venom oh. before. Hmm. So does yeah. that mean Tom Hardy's Venom is part of that well, they're prob- Spider Universe? I would. I mean, I guess now, but probably then. I don't think they knew. That's a huge theory, but yeah, I feel like that ties way too close. If that's how it's playing not- out, you know. But go ahead. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I, I just no, yeah, yeah. I wanted to connect oh, that. Yeah. I'll say the other one. It was kind of funny. We saw it on the trailer, but when he goes in the drug den and they're all like, who who are you? You know, he's like, I am Venom. And then he's like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get out of here. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember. But uh, I remember seeing that in a trailer. I think there was that. Um, oh, uh, Michael Keaton, Vulture, Adrian Toomes or whatever. Uh-huh. He showed up. He. It was weird. He like. So that has to mean that all the universes are connected now. Well, since he did that, that he came in as a result of the fucking tear from Doctor Strange. Gotcha. Okay. And because like they show him kind of just like, and he's like in a pri- a different prison cell, and he's like, "What?" And then he like kind of looks around, and he's like, oh, "I hope the food's better in this joint or whatever." But but then uh, the next after credit scene is him showing up in his whole vulture uh, get up, you know. Did um and he just tell he basically just tells him sorry he's been, I was like is it last part he basically just tells him like we're putting together it sounds like a kind of Suicide Squad thing he's like oh, we're putting together a team we might be able to do some good or something he goes and talks to Morbius so like, my question would probably be is did uh oh I'm drawing a blank <laughs> rut row what were you talking about <laughs> about Michael Keaton's Vulture showing yeah. up talking to Morbius about putting together a Suicide Squad kind of sounding team. Oh man, dropped the question. Oh well. Oh, there it goes. Damn, it's <laughs> there, gone. Look, there it goes. It's gone. <laughs> Come back. It's like a balloon. No. When you when you lose a balloon as a kid, <laughs> oh, no, 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 the most no, devastating no, thing. No, oh no, god. No. My balloon. <laughs> no. Or if you lose it in a in a place that has a high ceiling, and you just it's just sitting there mocking you, and you're just looking at them. You lose it in the mall, and it's just up there, just like following you around the stores, just like. <laughs> I got away, fucker. And you're never gonna catch me. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's that's really all the kind of exciting bits that were in Morbius. I mean mm. you know, uh mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. it was it was alright. I don't know if it was like the worst movie ever that people were saying it was, but it was Oh no, there's definitely been worse movies. People need to educate themselves on that. Yeah, like fucking what like, was have you what... Ne- have you never seen a B rated or C rated movie? Oh, you mean like zombie versus Navy SEALs that we were just starting to watch? I couldn't do it. I was gonna do it. I was, I was gonna I was gonna drag Matt's ass through that through a cinematic adventure of a B movie. Five minutes in I'm like, bro, this is terrible. Look look what they're doing. <laughs> I'll say, look what they're doing. <laughs> He's like, he's like, look at this douchebag. This fucking guy. They were calling the movie out because this dude had a beard or some shit. And we were like, that's just way too clean for yeah, a Navy SEAL. He's supposed to be some like Operator Sam type, and he's just got like a super like Chad Gentleman. looking fucking beard. You know, like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. He's got a man bun too. Fuck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, a man bun as a Navy SEAL. Yeah, that was rough. That's that's more special, special like, not special agent, my bad, uh, like covert. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I feel like if he was doing that on like a real like SEAL team, they'd be like, get that shit out of here. He had a fucking haircut. He probably cut it off for him while he was sleeping. I was gonna say, jump him, hold him down, and just yeah. he probably just cut it off. Couldn't blame him. Speaking of though, like special forces or having those type of skill sets with Moon Knight. Uh, good segue. I like that. Nice yeah. one. Yeah, uh, I, I was I was I was thinking, I was like, Did, oh, he's gonna segue. On this <laughs> other podcast I was listening to, they told me how to spell segue and I was like, excuse me? Can you guess how to spell it? Uh, I'm pretty sure you would know. You read. Uh <laughs> Well, huh? Uh, uh, no, uh, oh. no. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm thinking of segue like the fucking we the little thing. I know you are. And I know that's not how you spell it. <laughs> yeah. So, do you want to know? Or yeah. You, you give up? Yeah, I, I was gonna guess, but no. S e g u e. I was gonna fucking say that. Yeah. I swear. To you, I know you're not gonna believe me. But I was, was going to say no, that. I call bullshit. Gonna, that's bull, that's fucking, bullshit. I was like, that sounds like a French ass word. So they're like, segue. Segue. <laughs> Move on to the next thing. Segue. Fucking Americans love love France. I'll tell you. Yeah, but that's the, it's the opposite for them. Yeah, they don't like us. Well, at, least, at least the ones in Paris. Maybe not anymore. But like back in the day, like American France was pretty tight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, I mean, that's why like it cracks me up when I tell people that. And they're like, oh, no, we don't, we don't like France. Really? You sure? What about like... All these French ass words that we have. <laughs> what about like the boulevard, you know? But we digress. Moon Knight. Yeah, and fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler time for Moon Knight. Absolutely. Good for time. episode number four and five, yeah. to Both. be specific. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the episodes were very interesting. Um, the whole thing with Steven and. Um, Layla. Oh yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and and how Mark, funny, yeah. Mark got hella pissed off. He punched himself <laughs> in the face. <laughs> and then he fucking like threw him down the hole. <laughs> You're expecting to see him like rappelling down like she did, but he just fucking <gasps> hits the floor. <laughs> Mark, Mark beat the shit out of that himself. That shit was so funny, man. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, yeah. I mean, I love I love that type of dumb humor, <laughs> punching humor, or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. I was I was thinking about that when he did it. I was like, just because there's no mirror doesn't mean he doesn't know you're doing that. You know, <laughs> I was like, oh, he was watching. <laughs> yeah, no, that was funny. But I was like waiting for something to happen, and then he just fucking rocked himself. <laughs> but it was sad at the end, though. Very sad. With Layla finding out that Mark was involved with the death of her father. Yeah, that's heavy. Whew. Especially when, like, this girl was chasing Mark forever. She was crossing countries and doing She's hella types of shit to get to him. Jumping out of windows, hiding on roofs from, like, cults and shit. shit. If that was my wife, I'd be like, damn, this girl loves me a lot. Yeah, but he's just, but he's just like, I gotta break up with her. <laughs> well, I mean. He's the, the, typical, the typical, like, badass yeah. uh, protagonist who's like, I'm too badass to have a girlfriend. Yeah, you're better off without me. <laughs> yeah. Although, I guess, to, to be fair, it is... Um, uh, because he doesn't want Khonshu to snatch her up after. Of course. I mean. They always got to have that motivation. He's doing a, it for her. You know? There's always the caveat. I did it to protect you. Yeah. Sometimes they don't want that protection. No. I just wanted to be with you. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'd want to hang out with Moon Knight too. I don't know. Definitely was a sad, sad um, turn of events. Yeah. Po you know, po betrayal. Poor little Steven. Oh, yeah. Steven. That's right. It does affect Steven. Yeah. Oh. I feel bad for Layla too because she was like, you know, she was like starting to like Steven. We're like, you know, I guess that side. Mm. But uh, yeah, I feel yeah. bad for that because now she's just got fucking Mark. But, you know, maybe now that they've sort of reconciled that, maybe he'll be, you know, whole again and not such a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> end of episode five was also sad. Yes. Because we see the... I guess the disappearance or the quote unquote death yeah. of Steven. Yeah. Or the sad. persona. Very sad. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess it kind of, you think about it, it kind of had to happen. Oh, yeah. But like, but like, still, it's like, oh, well. Oh. You know, talking about the, oh, your, your hearts aren't balanced yet. Like, it's still out of balance. The scales are still moving. Yeah. And he didn't, and to find out that, it was because he still had Steven around. Yeah, he, like they're going through all this trauma and reliving it and accepting it and, you know, getting more balanced, but still not there yet. So you're like, what else do we got to do? And speaking of trauma. <laughs> he fucking had some. Dude. Like, fuck. That was heavy, heavy shit. Very heavy. Jeez. And like how she was like banging on the door. Dude, like, you know, when he first transformed into Steven? Yeah, because... But she was banging on the door. <laughs> open the fucking door! Open the door, door right, right now! Yeah. She comes in with a fucking belt. Yeah, all because... You Damn, know, and Mark's over here, Steven, you ain't gotta watch this. Yeah, they all, oh. did, they all did... You know, because he did some stupid shit as a kid, and... You know, got his brother killed in the cave. Oh, very good sad. Good lord. Very fucking sad. And I mean, like, seeing Steven, like, witness that. Which is like, I mean, it's still Mark, but it's like... That was the... That was the persona that Mark had created, the pure, you know, oh yeah, pure persona of him that hasn't had any of this fucked up shit happen to him. He's like, I still talk to my mom, but he's just talking to nobody on the phone. That was a pretty crazy revelation, too. Yeah, the um, God, it's so so sad just to see him like when he's like outside of his house, uh, like during their mom's um, oh having his breakdown. Yeah, not her funeral, like her wake, or I think he called it the shiva. I thought it was her funeral. Uh, no, they were at like their house or something. I don't. I don't think she was like her body. At the end, when he was drinking. Yeah, when he was outside the house. I, I think that was their house. Oh, like the the cel not, not celebration part, but the uh, like the get together where yeah, everyone like, gets the, you know comes like the wake, and they right? hang out and they're Is that just what like, I'm thinking of the wake. I don't know. I don't know what it's like the specifics. What it's called, but I know that he people called it. He house. called it a shiva. I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> yeah, look at I'm uncultured. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> uh, what is it called? Or how do you how to... spelled like Shiva? All right, Shiva is the religious practice of mourning the dead through a series of customs and obligations that guide the bere bereaved. Yeah, the bereaved through the process. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I, I started losing vision for a hot so second. Some, you know, 
different traditions. So yeah, it is yeah. mourning of the dead, kind yeah. of, kind of like a funeral, but in their own way. Yeah. But yeah, super sad to see him out, like, just how he can't bring himself. He, like, he's trying to go be there, even though his mom was, you know, so awful to him. Yeah. But, like, so sad to see him, like, walking away and just break down and then immediately just switch to Steven and start talking to nobody on his phone. Like, hey, mom, you know, my mom's not dead. My the mom fact was that, never an asshole. You know? Like, the fact that he forced himself to switch to Steven. Like, dude, that's such a... Because he couldn't handle that emotional that that emotion yeah. he couldn't he just was like no i'd rather be oblivious yeah, to his it his brain was like dude i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go somewhere else for a little while <laughs> yeah so crazy man it's the shit brains can do man brains are a powerful thing scary <laughs> very scary i mean they're it's crazy how it works brains i think it's crazy too like how your brain just like starts tricking you you know like there are times like say maybe you're like driving and you're like so fucking tired and you start like you're like so tired, and then you like start making deals. You're like, maybe I'll just rest my eyes for like a second. And then you like, dude, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I can't. no, I would do it. I'm not even kidding you. When I was in Delaware, I was driving back from my friend's house down to the hotel I was staying at. And mind you, my friend lived like I was just visiting my friend just as a uh, because they were in the area. Mm. They they were back on leave or something like that. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna come to your house. So I went to go to their house and when I left, it was like two in the morning and where the hotel was, was an hour and a half away. Oof. Mm -hmm. That's a hike. Yeah. And I stopped for gas. So I was just like, oh, I was dozing, dude. I yeah. was dozing. I should not have drove at all. Yeah. Because they say like, if you're that tired, like it's almost like driving drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is terrible. That. You're missing a lot. <laughs> yeah. Just looking straight ahead. Just, duh. So. Oh yeah, that definitely is um. Not yeah. fun. No, not fun. Either that or you know Mark's childhood trauma. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah. So that was some some pretty heavy uh pretty heavy couple episodes. <laughs> it was heavy. There was slight. Not in the the latest episode, but in episode four, there was a little bit of comical humor, yeah. Yeah. Um, like at the like at the end right. with uh, I I've already forgot her name, but Tarawet Tawaret Tawar the I think it's Tawaret. Yeah, the goddess of like women and beauty or something yeah. like that. She was something, yeah, something like that. So she showed Basically up. Basically, like a was, spirit guide. It was just literally hilarious. At the end, they go open the door, and she's just standing there, and he goes. Hi. Yeah, like, they just, they just, ah. <laughs> did you notice he did two different screams? Did he? Yeah. I didn't notice that. So like the uh the scream for Steven was like a high pitched girl. He's like, ah. Yeah, that makes sense. And <laughs> obviously Mark's being like, oh, I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, I was... he actually did two different two different um screams. I actually was impressed. I was like, oh wow. He, I was like, he got that much detail into his acting to where he's like, yeah. all right. Yeah, no. When I first saw, when I first saw her open the doors, I was like, "Well, first off, I was like, well, what is? What are they gonna sound like?" And then you see her, hi, and you're like, "What the?" F <laughs> she was hilarious too. She was. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, hang on, I got notes for this. Uh, see you later." She's tossing notes out. <laughs> she was cracking me up. Yeah, a little, a little comic relief in the yeah. in a very heavy uh, yeah, episode, gotta, episode five. You gotta have that, especially in. When they're covering that kind of subject matter. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, oh, hey. I had something I thought of uh, that I forgot to tell you. You know how I was talking about how in the beginning, like, it looks like Mark and um, Steven are, like, different looking. They look different. Their faces look a little different. Especially, like, through the mirror or whatever. Remember? What are you talking about? Remember what I was saying? With Mark and Steven, when they were, like, looking at each other at first. And I was saying, I was like, bro, like, they made, like, Mark's face, like, look like... They made him look like a little bit of a different person. No, they didn't. Are you fucking <laughs> with me right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you I, up, man. The second, the second your arms dropped like that, just like... <laughs> like you fucking with me right big, now. <laughs> he's the biggest disappointed father ever. Like, like, he's like, son, this is how you throw a ball. Like, this, dad? Like, and you're just like, <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Oh, I'm gonna beat you for being the dumbest. Oh, no. oh no! Like, good lord! 
Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so you do remember yeah. that I was telling you that uh, I, I read that they actually had Oscar Isaac's brother come in to shoot some scenes like that, and they just gave him a little bit of a different nose and shit like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because they look very alike. Yeah, I heard they did that. I was like, I just read that like this past week. Damn. So they're like, that's yeah, actually Oscar that's good Isaac's detail, brother. I guess. Yeah. Like, they brought him in. They look pretty similar. Like he just said, these like we gave him like a nose because he said his brother said he was like, oh, Oscar, Oscar's got a great schnoz, <laughs> or whatever. So I guess they just like give him a little prosthetic nose and all that shit. But yeah, wow, that was pretty crazy. I was like, so it was two different people. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's actually um, no, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. I want to be related to Oscar Isaac. <laughs> no, that is cool. I wish I was related to any like celebrity. I mean. I'm somewhat related to an NFL Uh-oh. player. Who? But, like, when I mean related, I mean, like, it's super fucking distant. Right. And there's probably, like, you know, through marriage type stuff. So it's, like, not Twice really. Twice removed, whatever. Yeah, said. not really not really family. Right. But, you know. It's but cool it's, enough. like, my, what was it, mom, sister, he's, like, a cousin that is. Twice removed. Three, no, three. So it's pretty, pretty much nothing. But yeah. that's how the connection works. Yeah. Like that's how it is. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's neat. Oh, uh, the uh, the football player being um, Marshawn Lynch. Okay, I know him. <laughs> Never <knows> big old, <laughs> big old, heavy duty running back type guy. Oh yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I found that out, and then I was like, uh, it's you not know. really, it's not really a good fact to be telling people just because. So yeah. much explanation and and yeah, it's not you, really related. Before you get up, all right. Well, actually, he's a second removed. During I stop right there. <laughs> it's like yeah, no, he, you're not. You guys aren't actually related. Just keep that one to yourself. I know, but it's all like oh God, come on. That's the closest I can get. Come on, that's something. Damn. Yeah, that was a cool little fact. But um, there was something I was gonna say. There was something I was gonna say. I don't know either. <laughs> well, if you don't know, I don't know. We're dropping the ball on a lot of topics, man. Yeah. I, got, I got questions, but they 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 just don't come out. <laughs> and it be like that sometimes. They think it don't, but it do. Like one question is, why isn't Matt still getting a fucking anime? Ooh, <clears throat> I don't know. Got him, coach. I have nothing against it. I just <laughs> you need to get an anime. <laughs> you keep yeah, you keep saying that. I'm telling you, man. It opens up an entirely new universe to talk about like even though like you know they have the anime tropes hmm. like you know got yeah the Fucking the injury shit bugs the shit out of me <laughs> all these little he's got so strong <laughs> fuck out of here come on he's so powerful like the, when everybody's surprised <laughs> Man, that shit bugs me yeah, they got that. They also got the the trope of like whenever a guy sees a girl doing something a little lewd, and just blood just comes spraying out of his face. <laughs> yeah, what the like fuck the, is that about? The, the bleeding nose. Is yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what is that about, dude? What? It's hilarious. Imagine if that was like. I wonder if that's somebody out. It's got to be somebody's like real reaction. It's got to be some medical thing. That that it has to be a medical thing. There's no way they're just Every doing that just they, to do yeah, that. They get excited or something. Bur- like burst a blood vessel in their nose or something. I don't know. Yeah. Cause like I don't know what happens when you get um, like flustered or like when you start feeling like something for someone. Because obviously your body gets like a little hot. Right. Like your right? blood pressure rises. And shit blood like pressure that. rises. So that actually I mean, now yeah. see bro science. <laughs> yeah, bro science. <laughs> Just as loosely <laughs> as loose as possible connected to. Science. Hey man. <laughs> Higher blood pressure means that your blood's pumping yeah. through your veins, right? So it's not totally impossible that it could just... So it bursts through your nose. It blood... I mean, shit, I, I'd like... imagine the blood vessels in your in your nose are... They might be pretty thin. Yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, well, that's why they got, like, arterial spray. You know, you come into those, that shit, like, with force mm, shoots mm. out. Yeah, they got shit like that. So, yeah. Yeah, but out your nose, I'm sure they just got that shit like cranked up to eleven. Let's like let's like have like two water faucets just out this guy's nose. Hey man, the amount doesn't matter. You die. They (laughs) imagine I have not seen one die yet. That much blood. (coughs) Dead. (laughs) 
No, nah, I've not seen one die yet from nosebleed. Although, however, there's been one anime where they mentioned it. And really? I, yeah. <laughs> they actually, you know, made it like an issue in the anime for a little bit. That's fucking hilarious. What'd they say? The anime one, it was One Piece. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know that one. And it was just like uh, the, uh, this character Sanji was over here and he goes, you know, he's like pretty much crazy infatuated with women, loves women. And he's always like uh, this redheaded girl named Nami. He's always Nami Swan and like his little <laughs> tornado cartoon spinny legs. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> and he's like holding his hands just together. Fucking... Hearts are coming out of every part. He's just like Nami Swan. Yeah, just swooning. So, oh, like <laughs> crazy. So he goes doing all that. Um, so that's how like infatuated with women he is. And there's this part where he was on an island, literally like full of women. Sounds like a good place for him to be. Well, no, no, <laughs> because <laughs> oh, cause he... I'm I'm pretty sure this is the arc I'm talking. Like I'm very positive, but then again, I don't know. I'm drawing blanks left and right today. So, uh, so basically, the island full of women, and he just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like flying in the air as if it's jet packed and he's just like "Ah!" and then like in the thing they're like oh my god he's lost too much blood we need to take him and get him treated and get him like get him more blood blood and i was like what the fuck that's the first time i've ever seen an anime acknowledge Acknowledge the nosebleed their wackiness like that yeah so that's That's funny (laughs) that was the first time i ever seen it i don't know if there's any other anime that acknowledged that (laughs) <laughs> that little trope but uh yeah that's the only one so but it was funny it was hilarious but uh, you would like anime you need to watch it <laughs> <laughs> no i mean i've liked the ones i've seen i just uh, i don't know i don't know i like watching other things. i'm gonna send you like one anime name every single day <laughs> i'm not gonna watch none of them <laughs> just matter of fact i got akame got kill that's a great one to start on is it? It is fucking awesome. What's so great about it? Uh, it's like, you know, it's got its little goofy anime stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a more, it's a serious uh, anime, so it's a little more dramatic. Okay, okay. But like the ti- so you basically fall in love with these characters, right? Right. But the entirety of the anime is very heartbreaking. Oh. Uh-huh course they get you attached to them and then they rip them away from you so right <laughs> that but it's fantastic it is so fun to watch um animation is really good the story is really good like all the deception and betrayal and you know conspiracy and all that hmm. so that one would be a good one i also i have it on blu-ray so <laughs> so i was <let's> gateway <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I can appreciate it. I just, I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. Like I said, I've watched a couple, you know, seasons. or watched, you know, little ones here and there, but I don't know. I'm telling you, th- th- these episodes could be, like, four hours long if oh boy. if Matt got into fucking anime. That's how long me and coworkers would be talking about anime for. I just don't know if I got the brain space left to hold that info with all the other shit. Does that I'm mean you're super smart? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah. No. Don't be stupid. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. But brain, brain capacity, <laughs> stupid bitch. I can barely um, fit all the superhero and video game shit I got in there right now. <laughs> it ain't that much. Chill out. Oh, 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 oh really? <laughs> Why get fucked up? Yeah. For <laughs> Justice. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Something I wrote down, I want to tell you. I heard, not sure how um, for sure it is, but I've been, I saw that they're saying um, Andrew oh, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get to the point. Got it. They're saying that Andrew Garfield might possibly be taking a break from acting. Oh. I thought he's been on a break. No offense. Well, well, I mean, he's been in shit other than Spider-Man. 
around the same time he was in, I forgot the movie. It was on Netflix, I think. He was in something there. And uh, after his Spider-Man movies, he was in that Hacksaw Ridge and stuff. I never saw that, but I've heard that was really good. Oh, yeah. Hacksaw Ridge was a great movie. Yeah. Wait, you've never seen it? No. Bro. It took place in Okinawa. I know. I was like, movie about Okinawa? Because I was, <laughs> I was in Okinawa at the time, so. Oh, yeah. Topical. Perfect. <laughs> oh, hey, did you ever, did you end up seeing the Batman, finally? Hmm. Uh, they yeah. got, they just confirmed a sequel's coming. I mean, they had to have. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, they just, like... The way they ended it, I don't think it would have been an appropriate ending. Well, yeah, but other than the way they ended it, they hadn't had any, like, official word, but they finally were like, yep. And uh, also Venom 3. Oh, really? Has been uh, confirmed, yeah. Hmm, I wonder what they're going to do with that one. I wonder about that as well, since how Venom 2 ended with, you know, with all the multiverse shit. I wonder how that's going to go. Venom 2, well, because, yeah, he, he got back to his own universe now yeah i wonder or at least supposedly i wonder if they're gonna like if that's like their way they're gonna like just like do a like a soft reboot on him keep tom hardy just like reboot him he's just kind of starting over but now he's in the mcu Mm. that would be tight very curious very curious curiouser and curiouser indeed i definitely um i don't know i mean i like the venom movie so yeah i liked him I definitely would be down for a Venom 3. For sure. And the way they ended Venom 2, I was like, you better. Yeah. You better give me fuck Venom 3. And then a sequel for Batman. <clears throat> uh, What'd you think? I don't think... Did we ever talk about what you thought about the Batman? No, because you didn't, you didn't know I watched it yeah. until just now. Well, so what did you think? I thought that Batman, like Robert Pattinson's Batman, was really annoying. Uh-oh. In one aspect. Oh, what's that? His fucking slow motion, brooding, stoic <laughs> little walk. When he walks <laughs> into literally any <laughs> space where he has to do any type of detective work. I was like, well, bro, walk faster. Well, please. I mean, if he's doing detective work, you don't want to just be like walking around like, oh, let me look over here, over there. All right, investigation complete. But what, <laughs> but what detective makes you think that he's walking like, do do Dude, don't, 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 don't. You know what I mean? Like, it just, like, I watched it the one time. I'm going to watch it again Mm -hmm. because I want to go about it like my my filmmaker way, you know? Right. Because I'm still learning. I want to learn that stuff. So I'm going to watch it again. And if I have the same feeling about Batman's thing, then that's for sure. Like, (laughs) that's a problem. I mean, I guess I could see it. He always does that real kind of... He does like a weird penguin walk. Imposing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the problem with mm-hmm. a, lot, a lot of... All the Batman is. They've had that problem with like mobility, like especially in the neck. They've all had that problem. Oh, no. I get that. But like I guess that I mean, seem maybe kind of stiff. But I mean just how like fast that. he walked. The pace at which he walked. Yeah. I, I was you. very slow I a lot you. of the time. I, yeah, I, I guess I could see they uh, kind of overusing that. But especially when he's like in fights, like getting shot at, he's like walking up to like you motherfucker. Yeah, you know? but just walking slow. But yeah. the actual like like hits he was like, like I was gonna say the combat was very very nice. Like right, it was like it wasn't it. it wasn't too flashy. Yeah. But it wasn't like it didn't look like it was like a dance. No. Yeah, because that's like especially like you that's what people bring up about like um like the games like Arkham Knight and shit. They're mm-hmm. like they're like this man is a tower of muscle and he's leaping around here like a fucking ballerina. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean like look at Batman, he's like he's he's like what, like you know, six three or something, just yeah. all muscle perfect and he's just like, <laughs> like swan dive over to a guy. <laughs> break his leg you know swan dive back over you hear here some fucking beethoven like <laughs> playing in the background <laughs> you hear like the okay. <laughs> <laughs> just he's dancing like a fucking belly yeah. he wins black swan yeah so that's that's one thing people have always brought up there. how is that possible <laughs> he rebrands his black you look swan. like that you can't move like that <laughs> yeah so the fighting yeah. was actually fairly uh very well done. Yeah, um, I, I did like some of the cinematography, although uh, I felt like some scenes were, 
I mean, uh, it kind of matches the theme. Never mind. I'm not going to go about that. Yeah. I was going to I was going to say some scenes are a little too dark, but then I was like the whole theme of the movie was dark. Yeah, so. I was like even when it's daytime it's dark. Yeah, like it was And you don't even ever cloudy. see like outside in daytime too much. Now that I'm thinking back on it, do you? I'm sure you probably saw a little bit, but like You did, but it was cloudy. Yeah, I was like everything's dark even when it's daytime, dark. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So I'm really trying to push it like hey, this is a dark movie. I'm like all right. I fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> he is the dark knight. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> I loved the Riddler. Oh yeah, yeah, it was good. How he was going about playing the Riddler was awesome. Yeah, I don't know what exactly about it, but I think it may have been, like been involved with like how maniacal his brain was working. Yeah, it's that that dude is special, kind of fucked up. Like the <laughs> like the the scene, even when he was like in jail already. The scene where he's like, no, 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 this is not how it's yeah. supposed to go down. Yeah, just I was just snapping. like, this is not going according to his plan. I was like, well, I was like this dude's got a little, he's got, he's got some uh, range in his acting. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah, he was good. I liked him. What'd you think about the, um, the end uh, at the very end with him next to his cell buddy, you know, and then in the next cell over? Uh, the Joker. Oh, what the fuck? Are you okay, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on the end. Yeah. <laughs> so when he finally got put away in jail, you never see his face, but you know it's obviously like the Joker because they all start kind of like doing that cackling laugh at the end. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, and yeah. And you can yeah, see yeah, the yeah, side yeah, of his yeah. head's all fucked up. Did you see that deleted scene, by the way? Although I thought. I don't know. I so now that you bring up Joker, it kind of makes sense. But then I also kind of thought of Two Face. Yeah, that that's what I thought too. I wondered. I was like, I wonder if that's going to be Two Face. And then they did a laugh. I was like, Nah, it's Joker. You think? Well, because isn't Two Face kind of like? No, but Two Face is a is a lone wolf kind of guy, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's got like a crew and a lot of the shit. I mean, he's kind of like mob type. Mm. But um, we'll have to see. But so I guess you haven't have you haven't seen the deleted scene they released yet? Oh, no, I heard about it, but I said I was going to watch it after the movie, obviously. Oh, dude, watch that. Yeah, because that's like a deleted scene oh, straight up, and, I, and that's the Joker. Watch that. I'm going to watch it right now. It's and um, you know who they got playing him? As the Joker? Yeah. No. Um, from Eternals. You remember uh, Druig? The guy who could control people's minds and shit? The sort of I, no, I don't know oh, if he's Irish or Scottish. I forgot his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him. He's oh, he's by the Joker. Yeah. Hmm? That's yeah. You never see his face straight on, but like he's yeah, he's fucked up. I don't think they're. I think they're not going for like that. Like he fell into chemicals or something. I think it's like some kind of. I don't know if it's like a condition he has or something. But I, yeah, I think it's a condition he has where he literally like can't a... stop smiling. Okay. Something like that. It looks like he got stitches in the back of his head. Yeah. No. Well, that's why I thought they were going for like he fell into chemicals because I was like, man, his skin looks all fucked up. Like it's all cut up. You know, it looks like a bunch of burns and stuff and everything. And I'm going to play this. Yeah, but you got to hear him, too. That's It's dope. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's some shit, right? But, like, just the way he looks. He's, like, that's yeah. a definitely, like, a way different take on the Joker. Like, that's like a mentally scarred Joker, but not just because of... I don't know. Not just because of, like, his past. Like, because of, like, the pain he's... Con he looks like he's constantly in just, like fucking broke him you know yeah it like, like i triggered said, him to yeah. just like laugh it all off yeah, like i said while we were watching i was like it looks like existence is pain for him <laughs> like, but he, but he's also enjoying it like a fucking masochist i mean i guess, yeah, I guess at a certain point you just crack I mean, like you know how like, else how else can you get past it yeah like how like how people laugh at you know, like a funeral because they're uncomfortable or something like it's like that just like to the 11th degree you know geez <sighs> yeah no yeah I mean, you know, they took it out of the movie. I've had like, what's an, what's an extra five minutes? Come on now. <laughs> but that would have been dope in there. Same thing with like some of the shit they they deleted from like Endgame, like with the scene after Tony did the snap. Mm. I was like, why didn't you keep that in there? That would have been fucking awesome. Like the movie's already long. Why not just fuck? It's a couple minutes. Yeah, I mean, Thanos got his whole like, you know, what did it cost everything moment. I wanted Iron Man to have that. He deserved hey, it. Do, <laughs> do you remember what Thanos's powers were in the in the comic 
you know? Because like, I'm drawing a I've been drawing a blank and I saw a post today that was like Thanos can pick up Mjolnir because because of uh his power. I mean I just I thought he was like general not superhuman, but you know, super, I guess. That's what I I, I didn't know anything like specific. Superhuman strength, speed, stamina, but yeah, so I was like, he's just a super dude. <laughs> Oh, uh, Thanos can Thanos can absorb and project vast quantities of cosmic energy and is capable of telekinesis and telepathy. Yeah, so he's got like, how many superpowers does he have? All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck. <laughs> and then he gets, and then he gets the infinity. You know, <laughs> because I haven't seen this Thanos in so long, like the comic book Thanos, because I haven't, I haven't really been <clears throat> on my comic book game lately. Yeah. But I forgot like about his whole shit. So when he came out in the movies, you know, at first, I was like, "All right, yeah, like this is gonna be sick." <laughs> Thanos is a fucking like the fucking villain, right? But then he's kind of a little underwhelming in the movies. You ever think about that? Well, yeah, that's kind of goes considering back. his powers. Yeah, no, for sure. But that's kind of like what we brought up. I don't know, a few episodes back, episode two or something, about how DC really drives the point of the power of some of their heroes home, as opposed to Marvel downplays them right but yeah for sure but dc did that to the flash i agreed <laughs> agreed and aquaman yeah and wonder woman yeah well i mean they did good with aquaman in his latest movie or but whatever. they did well with cyborg i think cyborg yeah, was sure. fairly like yeah. that's how yeah. how his power I feel like worked. the flash is the one that got shafted in that whole in that whole the situation most. my stomach's like all right we had we had our 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 first First serving, now it's time for the second because we're hungry more. But what about second dinner? <laughs> dinner? Supper. Does he know about those? Does he? <laughs> Does he? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, Pippin. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. These guys are so old. Those are just fucking stars. These guys are so old now. They are. Like, did you ever see the little, like, uh, the Zoom call that they did? Yeah. To do the like yeah, the reading. The lines. Yeah, I saw that. That, that was, was fucking awesome. That was cool. Having the Did you send that to me? Uh you might have. Either way. I may have. I don't know. You might have, but yeah, Like I do that. send you Lord of the Rings things, but for us it's more like Star Wars stuff a lot a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Um But no it, it was just hilarious with uh the dude who played I always forget his name and I feel bad for this because he's hilarious. But the dude who plays Gimli. Oh, his name? Damn. Either way, he was playing Gimli. He was doing the part from the second film uh, being the... What's happening out there? <laughs> <laughs> Should I get you a box? That part. It was just funny. And he actually like got up off his chair and went down to a level to where <laughs> yeah. the, zoom, the zoom camera was only picking up the top part of his head. <laughs> and he even had his helmet on, yeah, which is that. brilliant. I absolutely love... His little small attention to detail about that scene. <laughs> it's such a fool. I love that. Yeah, he was, <laughs> you could tell he still loves that character. I feel like jo John Reese Davis. John Reese Davis. That's the guy. Really? That, that is not. That is not the name I remembered. But okay. Or there's, John a, there's a little Davis. little dash in between his name. Reese Davis. Ristabus. 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 Mr. Ristabus. That's actually a cool name, or a cool way to spell that. Was it R R H Y S? Yeah, that's why I was saying Reese. Oh. That's pretty pretty cool. Wonder what uh ethnicity. Doesn't sound American at all. So. Irish, Scottish. Yeah. I think Scottish would be a good bet. Definitely over our mark. I think it's past the time. Oh, it's been past the time, but we. We landed into a good conversation. It was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's keep going. I mean, no no need to just go, all right, shut the fuck up. Time's up. <laughs> I'm going to do that next time. Yeah. Next episode, guys, you're going to hear me tell Matt, shut the I'm fuck like, up. Oh, bro, did I tell you? Shut the fuck up. Shut the click. fuck up. Time over. <laughs> just click off. <laughs> click. Damn. No, no, no more recording. Just instant stop. No, no. Can you see imagine? You next week. No, nothing. Just, all right, Matt, shut the fuck up. Bye. Be the most awkward, like, <laughs> continuance of, come of the back, episode. Come back next week. Just you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're just resume into it as if we... <laughs> that'd be as funny. Soon as it... Hey, welcome to Big F and No, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you pulled that shit. <laughs> You're like, big? And I'm big. Like, fuck you. 
like what matt finish the fucking thing Nerds. <laughs> yeah i just go Nerds. you're a fucking nerd <laughs> what fucking dweeb i'm gonna fucking smash you into your fucking locker <laughs> would you fucking me lunch money, bro? <laughs> Hanging him upside down by his feet. I don't have any. He's shaking Chain. the fucking chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting something. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. All right. Well, it is about that time. Yeah, it is damn. uh way later than we expected. Way later. But uh, it'd be like that sometimes. But it was a good conversation. Yeah, it's all right because. Matt did get off a little li- late, so it's all right. It happens. It'd be like that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast. I fucking hope so. Very, very, <laughs> it, was, it was very fun. Um, let us know what you guys think. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I've been putting stuff on the on the podcast page for the, uh, on Spotify just to, you know, kind of give, get people's feedback on like, you know what we should talk about yeah. or anything like that if not um i do i do put the email in the description of each episode now yeah, so you guys that. can definitely email us at big nerds at gmail.com Boom. just ask us any questions uh or any topics you would like us to discuss we do talk about other things uh nerdy all yeah. things nerdy as poop Nothing's just really nothing's really off limits so yeah. long as we get to kind of use our our bro sciencey brains <laughs> as you saw as you witnessed earlier today <laughs> which was a i got anime nosebleeds would make sense okay i, I debunked it i did <laughs> it with bro song? science you heard it here folks all right it's valid science get fucked <laughs> Jeez, all right. so <laughs> Yeah, no, just anytime we get to like kind of use our brains in a funky way and kind of try to make things make sense in layman's terms. Right. In the way that, you know, the way to try to make my own brain understand it. Yeah. You start talking about, I don't know, big words, quantum this, quantum that, velocity this, velocity that, who knows, whatever. (laughs) I'm like, uh, we'll figure it out for you. So, yeah, (laughs) if you guys have. Break that shit down. Have any questions or anything or, yeah. We are open to all topics for the most part either way uh yeah all right i'm drawing a blank yeah i am still um (laughs) up there (laughs) i'm fucking i'm ready to go down there to sleep oh yeah i'm out i still need to do fucking laundry oh jesus what time is it yeah no i'm doing laundry like tomorrow (laughs) Tomorrow, i'll do i'll do laundry tomorrow morning fuck that but uh, yeah, fuck. Send us some shit. You want to know something? You want to hear something? Let us know. We're here for it. But thank you guys for listening. We enjoy it again. You guys are awesome, fellow nerdians. We out. Later, taters.